God bless you, beloved. I pray that all is well with you. I am coming today because um, I just wanted to speak to those who have, um, what do you call them, like abandoned father issues or even a mother has, you know, has abandoned you or your, you know, your fatherless or your motherless, um, heck, even if you're childless. <laughs> But I just wanted to come to you because I know there's a lot of absent fathers. I used to run a program, you know, regarding absent fathers. I'll talk about it another time. But, but right now, it's been laid on my heart to talk to you, you who are who's crying, who feels like, oh, I, I want a father or I want a mother. You know, I need somebody, you know, or my father abandoned me. I never knew my father or you knew them, but they didn't come around. Or when they did, it was, you know, some foolishness or something that re we already hurt, that hurt you. You know, there was rejection and, you know, abuse and different things like that. But, but all of us need the love of a father. The love of a father is so very important. And, and in this society today, it's, it's lacking in so many uh, areas and so many cultures and so many countries. It's lacking and it's unfortunate, you know. But you know who we have? We have a heavenly father. If you are, have never submit yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and made his father your heavenly father, then that is something that you can do and that will fill that void you feel uh, uh, of, of an absent father. Even it will fill a void of an absent mother. It will fill the void of an absent spouse and or child. I'm telling you, the, the love of the father, our heavenly father, will fill any void. We have been, we are uh, created with a vacuum uh, in our life that can only be filled by the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you have never is, and received the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, submit your life to him and repented of all sins and, and gravitated toward him and to come to know him and the pardoning of your sins, then you should probably consider that so that you can be fulfilled in life and move forward in life and stop that hurting and that pain, that that sore spot that you have, even if you have received the Lord Jesus Christ, but you're not really intimate with the Lord Jesus Christ, or you are religious or you're church, you know, you're maybe a person that attends religious organizations and involved with religious organizations and you go to the building, but you, when you go to that building hurting, you still leave that building the same way that you came, if not worse. You need to gravitate and speak to the Lord. You need to repent of the building, you know, and all of the activities. But uh, but again, you can talk to him and gravitate to one of him and speak to him regarding that and ask him to help to for him to fill that void uh, for you. And I'm telling you, it will happen in Jesus' name. So I just wanted to come on here quickly because it was laid on my heart about absent fathers and how people are hurting. I'm even over here crying, <laughs> you know, because people have these voids in their their lives regarding all kinds of situations, but definitely the father and having a father is so important. It's really, really important. And a lot of people, they have their, they spawn, spawn children. And forgive me if I say that sounding very crude, but they do, they spawn children, but they do not father that child and they don't understand how important it is and you know and, and some they get into relationships and they get married and then you know they have children and all of that and then they decide they want to do something else or even the mother whoever decides they want to do something else and then they divorce and break apart leaving that child unfended for unprotected you know what I'm saying disarmed you know, and, and you should fight for your marriage, fight for that relationship when you have children, fight for your children. That's what we have to do. So anyway, I'm going to get off of here. I pray that in Jesus' name that you will heed the message. Don't be offended by anything I've said. Be blessed by it and take 
action and move forward and come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And or if you backslidden, repent and come back again to him so that you can be fulfilled and in and, 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 and life and get that void filled and, and, and stop being an enemy of God and be his friend and better be his son and or daughter. All right. I'll talk to you later. Love you very much with the love of the Lord. God bless you. Bye-bye for now.